Also, to be, I should probably do it. the one type of account that I wish that I would have put more money into, and that is the HSA. Yep, no give it. Just telling you guys straight up. But the more fun part is why? Nope. <laughs> hey, yo, Zenpak here. Uh, having retired early, I'd like to think that I've made a lot of good or at least reasonable decisions uh, in terms of finance in the past, right? But I do have one regret in terms of what I could have done uh, easily better, and that's put more money into HSAs. That's health savings accounts, right? kind of specialized savings investment vehicle whose limits are mostly on the exit option side, right? Namely that you need to spend the money you put into the account on medical expenses, right? Personally, I only bothered to fund my own HSA near the very end of my 16 year career. I think I probably only did so for the last two or three years, right? Yeah, so maximum of three years instead of 16. So my HSA balance these days are just much lower than I, what it could have been. And I want to explain a bit as to why and how I got to where I am. And why I think you guys could do better than me, right? At least in this aspect. So comment, like, and subscribe or whatever. Because social media, yada, yada. I'll be great regardless. <laughs> ah, all right. So first, uh, let's define what an HSA is, right? It's one of those specialized tax, tax advantage accounts that I hardly really hear anybody talk about, right? Probably why I personally only marginally contributed any money to it because I didn't hear about it right, until way too late, right? But it has some real key advantages, right? First, it's filled with pre-tax money, which reduces your tax burden. The money in said accounts can be invested uh, and grown tax-free. This is similar to other types of tax, uh, tax advantage retirement type of accounts. Now the difference is, uh, it's not really just for long term, uh, aka retirement, it can be used for, you know, at, at a time frame of now, for whatever you want, as long as it's related to healthcare, right? Let me just repeat, that's saving on taxes, savings on investment gains, and a relative ease of liquidity in an admittedly specialized, but definitely necessary facet of regular life, regular normal life, right? Oh, and some extra points, uh, in case you didn't know. HSAs will roll over from year to year, so any individual can amass wealth in this form over time, and it'll stay with you after job switches. Right? This last bit I definitely didn't know about, and pleasantly found out after I retired from my crooked gig. Right? I mean, these days I really just think of my HSA account as sort of an additional investment account. Right? It can even be tracked uh, in network tr tracking apps like, like Mint. So point number two, why should you want this? Uh, well, here's the thing. Medical expenses are extremely expensive in the United States of America, and they are almost a certainty for, uh, well, just about anybody who's alive, <laughs> okay, during their lifetime, right? Now, I think personally, my own mistake was thinking about how, you know, because of the extraordinary cost of healthcare in this country that I live in, right, I, I keep thinking about, you know, ambulances or emergency care can easily cost into the five to six figures like for, for, for one incident really it's so scarily high that compared to the less than 5k per person per year uh, limit on contribution to 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 the hsa i thought well why bother it'll take many years to even hit five figures uh, and to accumulate uh, in an hsa so why bother doing that right if i'm gonna have an extraordinary medical event i'll be screwed anyway right now in contrast, this line of thinking is that, you know, I, I realize that it's very short-sighted because I forgot about the regular occurrence of healthcare. You know, examples would be things like dental or vision care, right? You basically have to go in there like every year. I mean, look, I am a pretty lazy guy when it comes to self-care and I glutton in a lot of literal and figurative ways. So that means over time, this whole bodily maintenance thing is a real concern, right? And even a few Gs here and there can help uh, cover what essentially I, I'd call like it's basically like oil changes for the for myself right now uh, if we at least do the maintenance it might help delay those large and extraordinary medical events that I'm so scared of hopefully right uh, finally my uh, I'll mention one caveat that I used to use again as an additional excuse to not max out my HSA contributions and that was I thought hey does everyone actually need healthcare, uh, even those for those large medical events at, at some point in the future, right? Because that's like when you're older. B, 
Because, you know, well, I could get a run over my car or something. I, wouldn't that be a pain to lose, like, my HSA balance, right? Let's say I've been diligently stashing away like 100 Gs in an HSA. If I get into a deadly accident, I'd be dead and there'd be no real need for health services if I'm killed off instantly, right? You just kind of lose that money because, you know, there's no more healthcare needs for, for that account holder. That mentality, though, I realize that it's, it's very situational and it, it actually goes directly against the idea of fire and my, gen my general faith in early retirement, totally, right? After all, you know, I left a job because I want to live in a better way and I want to live until I'm very old, not, not preparing to get run over a car, right? Sure, accidents happen, but the reality is that even at this point, like 100k to me is really not that much money to me as a whole, right? But it would still make a good chunk for medical expenses, right? So basically segmenting off that relatively small amount as a type of insurance for healthcare costs is still worth, worth it, right? I mean, obviously, I can only say that because I haven't done it, but I, I wish I did, but I didn't, right? A point of the rant is that unless you're dying, uh, you're planning on dying by accident, right? Mm, you know, HSAs do work. Heck, uh, I, I joke as a cynic, even a car accident might only maim, not kill these days, right? Like if you have a safe car. In which case, guess what? You're gonna have a, a lot of extraordinary medical expenses, won't you? <laughs> yeah. So uh, these days, my own uh, HSA balance barely five digits compared to theoretically, I think I could have easily at this point have peaked over six digits if I have started it only a decade prior. Right? I guess the main difference is that 10, 15 years ago, I was much more arrogant about my health. I also haven't learned deeply enough how quickly compound market gains can work when you invest the money in your HSA. Uh, just remember, you can, you, can, you, know, you can choose to save those compound gains for a larger medical ex uh, cost you know, in, in the senior citizen age that are pretty much inevitable in that, inevitable in the distant future or use it on the nickel and dime of your regular dental vision you know health care will cost you it's too bad that i personally didn't start the snowball way earlier right and at this point you know i, I guess i i needed a bit less because i have to save money and in my mind some amount of it is you know is segmented off just for health care purposes right but I know for the vast, vast majority of the population, that is not me. An HSA would absolutely be a boom, right? Anyway, don't take my word for it alone, obviously, right? Look it up on the internet, see what it says, see what I say holds, okay? Cheers, I'll approach it.